I've been attempting to find out what exactly happened to Megan Kremer, the 30-year-old horse fanatic whose body was found in a secluded sandy field on August 8th, 2019. Many facts are yet to be revealed as the men arrested for her murder are still in the Athlone's Magistrates Court, where bail proceedings are underway. However, there are some factors that need to be addressed. Megan vanished after her car was seen leaving from her small cottage on this farm at 6.23 p.m. on Saturday, August 3rd. She left through the bottom gate of the farm instead of the main gate. This was not unusual though, but her friends were surprised that she would leave at night as she enjoyed to spend her evenings at home. Her body was discovered one kilometer away from her home in the sandy field five days later. She was tied up and fully clothed. Her ATM card had been used at various banks after her disappearance. So the big question is, was Megan taken at home or was she hijacked on the way to somewhere else? The suspects bring another element to the story. CCTV footage shows only one person in her white Toyota Auris leaving the farm, meaning either the culprit or Megan was driving. Farm worker Jeremy Sears, who grew up on the same farm where Megan had lived for five years, was caught in Megan's car four days after the 30-year-old woman went missing. Sears was a worker on the farm and operated around the main farmhouse at times. By all accounts, he was a quiet man. Friends and workers were shocked to hear he could be involved. However, in the Athlon Magistrate's court, Sears abandoned his bail application and we learned that he had previous charges of car theft and assault. Sias lived in the Gordy informal settlement on the Stud Farm's southern boundary, very close to where Megan was living. Two other men, Charles Daniels and Shiraz Jafta, were in Megan's car with Sias when they were arrested. Daniels had previous charges of theft and drug possession, whereas Shiraz Jafta had a previous charge of murder. Now police are building a case against the accused using CCTV footage, which I'm unable to show until the investigation is concluded. Detectives are also tracing the ATMs where Megan's cards were used. The case will continue in October, when the three men will appear again. <laughs>